I can hear the pitch meeting for the headline to this story. Initially, they were going to go with college is so expensive that your children need to prostitute themselves. But, you know, that doesn't sound too much fun. And this is the Asbury Park Press. And we have to make things seem all nice and sweet. And, like, it's just the best time. So, instead, let's go with New Jersey students finding sugar daddies to pay, to pay skyrocketing college costs. This is written by Alana Keller. And speaking of being written by, I'm going to read that little blurb underneath here because there's just it's it, the the writing mistakes are egregious. A growing number of students are turning to dating sites to find Uger Addies and Amas. You get what I'm saying? For help with college costs. Christina, a 29 year old sugar baby and MBA student living in Las Vegas, talked to Business Insider about her experience. Okay, so this was, I guess it was initially written on, in Business Insider, but, you know, a uh, Asbury Park Press decided to pick up and take the story. I have four free articles left. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but that number keeps fluctuating. They keep saying, oh man, you only got so many free articles left. Come pay us a dollar for three months. I don't give a shit, APP. I'm not paying you a dime, all right? Jesus. You, you're, you're right. You're not worth it. It's just not worth it. <laughs> Some college students pay for their education by working a job or two. Others take out a loan. And increasingly, some turn to sugar daddies or mamas. Prostitution. Okay, can 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 we not be coy about this? Prostitution. You're like, yo, I'm going to spend some time with you. Wink, wink. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you dollars. Which ultimately, ultimately doesn't it kind of um like really... How do I put this? Uh, like you know, um, dang it, I don't like getting this lost into my thoughts in the middle of a video. But it it's self defeating. There we go. It's a bit self defeating to get paid to go to college in order to pay to um to get to get paid by a sugar daddy to go and pay a college so you can get a job where you're getting paid. Guys, when it comes to college, if you're not in STEM, bro, don't even try to graduate. Go, network, make some friends, see who, see who you've new, newly met that, you know, family got jobs and stuff like that when they pay a decent um, paper and then go and work for them. But as far as, oh man, I have to take all these college courses and get all these credits and stuff like that. If you're not in the STEM fields, it really is like a crap. It really is a, a, a shot in the dark. That's according to Seeking Arrangement, which calls it Seeking.com, the world's largest sugar dating site, where over 20 million members fuel mutually beneficial relationships on their terms. And New Jersey students are no exception. Of course not. There are more than 3 million sugar baby students in the United States, Seeking Arrangement says. Arizona State University tops the list with 2,724 students. Indiana University is next with 15,040. 1,540. Students and New York University is third with 1,507 students, according to Seeking Arrangements. Let's see. Arizona, that's Nevada, right? So, yeah, there's a lot of golden ladies out there. Indiana got those corn fed, you know what I'm saying? Thick Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Huck could be Sanders looking chicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, okay, so this is weird. <laughs> it's about to get a little weird and it wasn't it. But I think in certain lights, Sarah Huck could be Sanders is like what it's like she a thick bra right so you know she just comes into the room like yo pants down <laughs> like, a little sexy to me i'm not even gonna lie as for the garden state Rutgers university ranks 27th in the nation with 933 sugar babies meeting the right sugar daddy offers collegiate sugar babies access to expanded networking opportunities mentorship and financial benefits that come with building a relationship with someone established and successful prostitution okay money money and pardon my french ass money in exchange for intimacy prostitution all right golly they're really trying to um quote unquote sugar this up it's no surprise students are growing increasingly impatient with our politicians said brandon wade founder and ceo of seeking arrangement in a news release why are they growing uh, impatient with the politicians when, you know, it's still a choice? Like, you still have to make the choice to go to college and the like. I mean, you still have to make the choice as to what you do with the rest of your life beyond that point. 
She I right, though. I like that leg. That is some um, that is some healthy looking leg right there. How can they trust a system that has continuously failed to make any real changes to the student debt crisis? Seeking Arrangement has provided a platform for students to go to college without the stress of money. You're a pimp. Just so we're clear, all right? This is like butter's bottom bitch. You are a pimp, sir, okay? <laughs> Golly, you just taking a little cut to 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 to, to make the, in, the initial introductions, man. That's all it is. You can see the full list of uh, leading universities ranking. Um, seeking arrangement says that there are 8 million female, over 8 million female sugar babies in the United States registered with them. Uh, 3 million male sugar babies, 2 million sugar daddies. So, whoa, so you got 8 million chicks, over 8 million chicks going after 2 million dudes. And you got 3, you got 3 million dudes. I mean, if we're all, if we're keeping it in the, uh, by bi in biological terms, we're not going into the alphabetical, um, realm just, but you got, and then you got 3 million dudes for 370,000 sugar mamas. And oh my goodness, I would have loved to know what those ladies look like. I, I would love to know what the sugar mamas look like. I, right? they have 22 million members worldwide. So that's it. I just, I really wanted to do this. Ooh, Shway right there. She she kind of high too, you know. Yeah, yeah we are gonna, we gonna let this rock on, on on golden legs over here. And her uh, grandpa looks like her grandpa, but not definitely dude decking her. So <laughs> deal is is that yeah, it's prostitution. You send your kid like why would you even send your kid to college? This is one of the reasons I gotta get my business off the ground and moving so I can have something to give to my children so they don't have to go to college and you know they can be financially well off because this is ridiculous college has gotten just off the yoza bulb when it comes to um the money and the crazy part is, is that a lot of it is taxpayer funded so you can tell that there's just so much red tape and bureaucracy there that it's gonna just keep expounding upon itself expounding upon itself expounding upon itself until it burst all right. Like, yes, the, the student debt thing is a real issue that we need to look at that needs to be taken care of because a whole like two, three generations of children were sold a false bill of goods and then they get to college. Oh, this is expensive as hell. Well, let me go prostitute myself so I can afford to pay for this. Just ridiculous. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to give videos like this every single day. Okay, she's okay. Mm, she's all right, though. Oh, she's definitely all right. I like that nose and that thigh meat. Okay, good job, darling. Uh, share, because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch shooting like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here. And bang the bell for notifications. Uh, and speak. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? I mean, there's nothing about baddies all throughout this, um, all throughout the article. But, yeah, college is dumb expensive. And if... You're not in STEM, science, technology, uh, engineering, and math, which requires the type of the, the type of schooling necessary for that would make uh, college necessary and worthwhile. Because when you leave those fields, you're in like you kind of walk entry level is kind of six figures in those areas, depending on how you network it, right? So, I mean, the like it, the the point remains valid of college. Problem is, is that it's an industry like any other. And it is like all and all it's done is inflate its cost for generations now with no checking. So, I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right. Until the next one.